Welcome to another weekly worship. It's fantastic to be with you again. And this is our second week at looking at our school Christian vision. If you remember last week, we thought about what a vision is and we compared it to a plan, like a Lego plan that shows us step by step what we need to do to have the thing that we want at the end. And we said that our Christian vision is like that. It gives us a step by step guide on how to have the school, how to be the school that we want to be. To be a school that's full of fun, where we can learn lots of things, where we can feel safe and make good friends. We also thought about the first line of our vision, if you remember. And it, that was about having Christian ethos at the centre of all that we did. And we thought about two men. Can you remember? We thought about a wise man and we thought about a foolish man. And we thought about how if we could be like that wise man who built his house upon a rock, then that would be us having a Christian ethos at the heart of what we do both as individuals, but also as a school family. And we thought about the good values that we can have in our lives, like friendship and kindness and gentleness and courage and hope and determination. All those values that make up and what it means to have a good Christian ethos at our foundations. Well, this week, we're going to be looking at the second line in our vision. Can you remember what it is? That's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Well, don't worry if you can't, because it's here on our screens now. Let's begin by reminding ourselves of the Christian vision. We aspire to be guided in all that we do by our inclusive Christian ethos. We are enthusiastic about lifelong learning and share wisdom in serving each other and our world. We encourage all to live lives of hope and aspiration, inspired through inquiring new skills and attributes. Dignity and respect are at the heart of our school. So today we're going to think more about the second line in our vision. We are enthusiastic about lifelong learning and share wisdom in serving each other and our world. So hopefully we're all excited about learning new things. We're enthusiastic about learning doesn't matter whether we're a teacher or whether we're a pupil, whether we're young or whether we're old. Hopefully, we're all excited about learning something new by learning new things and learning about new challenges. Hopefully, you've learned something new today. But there's something more than just learning. Because we could learn something and then just keep it locked in our brain and do nothing with it. But this next part says that we share wisdom in serving each other and our world. If you think of wisdom, if you think of somebody who's wise, who do you picture in your head? Do you think about your mum or your dad or your aunt, your uncles, your grandmas, your granddad, your teacher, or even perhaps yourself? Who do you think is really wise? Now, I think a wise person is someone who learns something, but doesn't keep it to themselves, but uses that learning to help others. And that's what we're going to be thinking about today. How can we use the things that we learn to help others? In other words, how can we be wise people? Someone I want to talk about is a lady called Marie Curie. 
and she's one of my heroes. And we're going to hear a little bit more about her now. Does anyone know anything about Marie Curie? Do you know where she lived, where she was born? Do you know what she did? Let's just stop the video for a moment. Let's have a look at the photograph and see if we can guess when she lived and what she did. OK, I'll give you a few seconds and let's see if you can work it out. So hopefully you've worked out that Marie Curie was in fact a scientist. And she is probably one of the most important scientists to ever have lived. Now, you can probably tell from the photographs that Marie Curie lived quite a long time ago. She was actually alive when the First World War was on. Now, the First World War was a terrible time and lots of people were dying. Lots of people were killed. But Marie Curie began to work with the injured soldiers and began to realise that, in fact, some of them who were dying didn't have to die if only people could work out exactly what was wrong, how exactly they were injured. And Marie Curie worked out that x-rays could be used to take photographs of the inside of a person's body. And in doing that, you could work out how the soldier was injured, whether a bone was broken, whether that was pressing on something else that was causing a bigger problem. So Marie Curie worked out that she could probably save many, many soldiers' lives by actually x-raying them and working out what was wrong. But the problem was that x-ray machines were huge and they were really expensive and they were only in a few hospitals. And so how could we get the injured soldier to the hospital where the x-ray machine was? So Marie Curie came up with this fantastic idea that the x-ray machines could move from hospital to hospital in a truck. And Murray even helped to train people to run the machines. And the trucks became known as Little Curies after Marie Curie. And they are thought to have saved over one million soldiers' lives during the war. How amazing is that? So Marie Curie was this fantastic lady. She was really wise. She had lots of learning. But she didn't keep that learning to herself. She used that learning to help others. In the Bible, it teaches us that wisdom is better than gold and that understanding is more precious than silver. Proverbs 16, 16 says, it is better to get wisdom than gold. It is better to choose understanding than silver. So my question to you is, if that's right, if the Bible's right, that wisdom is more precious than gold. And if we're to learn anything from Marie Curie's life, about how important it is to use our wisdom and to use our learning to serve each other and our world. What does that mean for us in our school? If we're going to live out our vision, if we're going to be enthusiastic about lifelong learning and share that wisdom and serving each other and our world, what will that look like for us? What have we learned that we can use to help others? Why not spend some time now just talking to one another, thinking of some ideas about the things that you have learned that can help you to help others? 
So as we think about that last question, you may want to join me in a prayer. And if not, you may just want to sit quietly and just to think for a moment. So let's pray. Father of light and wisdom, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, no matter how tough it may be at times. And let me know how I can use my learning to help others. Amen.